www.patreon.com slash final stop podcast. We got hundreds of uh, hundred. I mean, so many hours of content over there on that damn thing. I let me tell you that's some of the spiciest content I've ever done seen. Some of this spiciest content I've ever seen. You can get not only one dollar, but the ten dollar level. That comes with a little paprika on the gumbo, if you know what I'm saying. But thank, uh, join, join the Patreon, y'all. It's fun. <laughs> hey, welcome to another episode of The Final Stop. I'm your host, Daniel Bridgegad, live from the ever-glorious Mescal Manor the second time. Over here on the other side of the country, it's the Vampire King, King Possum, Lord Meerkat. It's not a phase, Mom. It's Tristan Bullock. Me? <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, mm. Uh, over oh, here the, me? I'm refusing to, no, no, no. Actually, no, not you. Over not you at all. That's actually, I did say this. Oh, I'll get back to what I'm doing. Listening to radio has had creep. <laughs> when you're here before, <laughs> couldn't look you in the eye. Do you guys know that song? Not even close. No, I didn't. Uh, the bit, the bit. And I'm just a fat ass. Okay. Oh, that song? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You you're fucking so fucking hate fat me. ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of, over here on the side <laughs> table, it's the big man himself, the anti-Riz, Patrick Orianons, the fucking hamstring king. It's Andrew Oriana. <laughs> What's yeah. up? I knew you were going yeah. to find a way to do it, dude. Watch the internal affairs to hear all about this guy's fucking blunders, romantic. <laughs> dude. Wait, instead of I'm a creep, can it be McFlurry machine? It kind of has the same cadence. <laughs> McFlurry <laughs> machine. <laughs> Why uh, are you broken? <laughs> Did I Charlie horse you in the green room? Yeah. <laughs> We're out of Eminem. Marcella makes me feel like I don't belong <laughs> here. <laughs> He's speaking uh. Spanish quick, quick. <laughs> He uh, got the light and now he runs. runs he runs. runs he runs. runs <laughs> he runs. This is on a whole other Banksy for Daniel. He doesn't know what the fuck we're talking I felt about. Like, I felt like I was in the middle of a flash mob trying to get the choreography down just by watching. Like, ah, damn, ah, fuck. No, it oh. was uh, yeah, it's a fun time. <laughs> Dude, so. let me uh, let me tell you guys. I've been waiting to tell you. I I I got uh, I don't know what's up with Tiny, but Tiny's been getting into jump scares recently. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bro, Tiny's been a menace. There's not that many Dude. corners in this studio apartment, but somehow she finds no, all of them. No, no, it's not even that. Uh, first off, she loves just like she, I don't I don't know if she has like an internal clock or something, but she feels when you're the most relaxed and at ease, and she's like, "Gotta go get those feet," and then she, uh, <laughs> she'll just, swipe you, at your feet. No, you just feel a rogue kitty claw just hey, and it's in your foot. And you're like, ah, fuck, tiny, stop it. And like, Damn. dude, this morning, so she likes electron like electronics and stuff like that. She's always standing on my laptop. Literally, she opened Google Chrome Assist when I was like going in between sh- this second stream yard. You're so raising an I- you're raising an iPad, Kitty. That's fucking <laughs> <ass>. yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, no, but this morning uh, she found the remote, and uh, we listened uh, we listed like rain and stuff while we're asleep, and uh, she found the volume button, and she stood on it. <laughs> And turn, turn it into a nice like fall rain into a fucking torrential downpour. Woke dude, up. Hurricane <laughs> Katrina <laughs> level like, like, yeah. like, like literally a simple just light rain to like D Day level audio. <laughs> and, and, and like me and Haley can't find the remote, so it is <laughs> she's looking screaming. for screaming. It is screaming in our house. Just. <laughs> We just we eventually have to run and unplug the TV. Damn, this bro, is a menace, bro. bro. Haley's, lo- Haley's looking for the remote like a fucking D-Day Marine looking for his arm, just fucking out of it. Dude, That's it a real was, here. That's it, a real it was funny because we woke up to it like at like 30, and we're like, what's going on? And then we just watched it keep going. We're like, stop, stop, stop. It's getting louder. Stop. And we're just like, where's the fucking remote? You guys are yelling at each other like a stressed out parent of a newborn. Where's the fuck? I can't find it. I told you to Dude, put it away. Literally that. Literally that. I'm like, how can we not find the fucking remote? Where was it last night? I didn't fucking touch it. And like, 
I find it, and it's like <laughs> Tiny's just. I pretty much just had like a one single glove by it. I knew it was Tiny had done it. Like in the fucking mitten fitting, we had to acquit him. It wasn't. It was, dude. It it's was the so. It's fucking cat. It's always the cat. I told you she's evil. You guys are screaming at six a.m. Yeah, dude. She just literally. I can't imagine what she looked like because she was like. It was just pressing, and, like, she had to have heard it getting louder. And so I bet she was like, huh, what a cool science experiment. I mm. press this thing, mm. and then suddenly the whole house freaks out. Yeah, she thinks it's the spaz <laughs> button. She's like, huh, these guys freak the fuck out if I put my paw right here. What if I push down harder? Tristan, I just want to let you know, you are now experiencing what, what Brad and Shannon had for the last 23 oh, years. Oh, yeah, bud. Why don't you just laugh and <laughs> call it kooky? Why don't you just say it's building know, personality that, and I love you, bud, or whatever the fuck? That's different. <laughs> Golf with Friends is an activity that bonds. This podcast wouldn't even be here without Golf and Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Jesus Christ. No, uh, but it was that, uh and every was, time you hit a quip, you just hit the volume button on old Andrew over here, dude. Fucking yeah. Christ. <laughs> that would dude, be... that was so funny. Just my mom coming in and getting like actually mad at you having like joy in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> like the only reason she walked in, she's like, Andrew, stop having fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got hit with the I'm shut trying up? to sleep. Oh, Please yeah. stop it's, having fun. She's like, I have work in three hours and you guys are being loud. You know what? I was as, like, oh shit, my bad shit. As much shit as I give the the younger comics, the the new class, for uh, being egregious and just hanging out till about 5 a.m. on a Wednesday, we also used to do that. And then I would go to work in the morning with yeah. like boots on. It was yeah. it made no sense. And now I'm just an old man being like, dude, it's 10 day. The sun's down. Let's keep it fucking. I agree with HOA rules now. Quiet time after 10? Obviously. Why the fuck would we be loud? It's, yeah. it's a school night. What the Duh. fuck? Yeah. Do you think I pay all this money to be in a that neighborhood <laughs> you know i got a couple of uh vaguely racist fucking uh comments from from old ladies after shows the last couple Dude, days i, were just I was like about that. to say i'm like i'm pretty sure do you see they're doing the whole digging through shane's discography for a hosting snl like the questionably racist things and most likely full-blown racist things i've said is <laughs> is like not it's like i know it doesn't come from a place of like I hate in my heart because I love everyone individually. I love animals more than people, honestly. I'm kind of a sucker in that way. But it's uh, it, <laughs> all right, Mark Twain. He's bracing oh, for he's bracing he, for impact when they get him <laughs> three years from now. He's like, cut this right here, timestamp. <laughs> yeah, no, but I honestly I feel like it would be kind of funny just to watch my greatest hits compilation that some woke person puts out, just being like, oh yeah, here's what he said. I'm like, all right, these are all kind of funny. I just, right. it's just 13 minutes of the Rogan tape I was put together. Say, I, I think that's hitting the jackpot at this point. If you get famous enough that niggas are digging up back catalogs, you've already won. There is no fucking, there is no losing. I don't think you can get canceled anymore off of like words. I think you physically have to like touch a lady, Andrew. I think you have what the fuck? I think you physically have what to. What the fuck? You're a grope up lady. I'm not saying you that, are. No, 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 no. Don't put no. that on me. You're throwing, don't no, put that on you're me. You're throwing skills in the public, you're throwing you fucking You're throwing Muay Thai clinch yeah. <laughs> This is yeah. the public, you fucking psycho. Don't throw yeah. that at me. What the Let's, fuck, Daniel? We were doing locker room talk. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're doing locker room tie bow. Tie bow. Uh, no, but. Uh, oh, that is funny because I was ch uh, checking in someone at the show last night and he told me his name and it wasn't popping up. And he pulled he pulled up the ticket and it was under his email and his, uh, his email name was like T-I-B-O, like Tebow. And he was like, oh, next time I just know. And he pulls up his arm, and it's just that in giant gothic letters on his arm. And I was like, that's a yeah. nuts tattoo. Like, I, I believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, the Tim, <laughs> like, like for Tim Tebow? No, like T-I-B-O, no W, no nothing, dude. And he's like, he, bro, that's He's got my his name. nickname on his arm? Yeah, yep. And this guy's white, I assume? Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> that was, that was, that was <laughs> oh. a joke. Honestly, shocked. Yeah, I was, yeah that's, uh, that's exactly what I thought. I didn't Actually, definitely think it no, was a, the gothic font really gave it away. Gave it away, yeah. If you yeah. would have said, like, nah, uh, it's not, it's not like Mexican, one of those though. aerial black, if you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? It's a font. <laughs> it's a font. It's one of those yeah. Times New Roman ones. Not one of dude. those wingdings, if you catch my <laughs> drift. Are you ready for the, uh, for the internet to be broken tonight? What's, why, what's breaking the internet tonight? 
Shane going on SNL. I'm actually kind of mad I have a late is show because I is did want to. Uh, no, he's the 24th. Is it 24th? Is that when it is? 24th. Yeah, oh, okay. it's the 24th. I'm like, they're on break right now. Oh, oh you know what? That makes sense. Okay. Because I was kind of curious. I was like, how the fuck is this nigga down here? And they have like, they do Saturdays or whatnot. So is he starting the season? Or is there even seasons anymore? I they think, just go? no, it's, it's no. They just go on a break during oh. like, during like February. They go on like a little break and then they come back for the rest of the year. Yeah, I think it's. I think I don't think there's wow. anything necessarily. SNL is against Black History Month. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, they take Feb. Yeah. They take most of February off. I mean, it makes you don't want to deal with that. Clout. <laughs> that's yeah. played out. What are you gonna do? A couple fucking MLK sketches. Make fucking uh, make Keenan be Malcolm X again. Like, what are we? What are dude. we? Do? Oh, dude, it was so dude, funny. Dude, can you can you imagine? Is this a silly idea? So if they had, if there's a secret that like for Martin Luther King that they're all trying to figure like hide and stuff, but it, it was actually just he had a second middle name. It was Ignatius, and they couldn't let it know because MLK is cool, but milk, you can't have milk. <laughs> 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 in the face of the Black Revolution, and it would have completely just milk. shot through. It would black people would have been enslaved yeah. already again. It would have yeah, gone but- full circle. Oh, you mean the milk movement failed? Of course it did. Yeah, of yeah. course it fucking That's actually wondered. where all the black dads went. They were on yeah. the milk movement. I would go to the... I, I actually yeah. am spearheading the milk movement. Yeah. The CIA just assassinates Martin Luther King. He's like, got milk. Get it? I got it. <laughs> I mean, that was a death wish back in the day. Could you imagine the thrill of banging a white lady in like 56? <laughs> Talk about fucking for Oh, dude, I, can, I, I thought you were about talking right about 24. I honestly thought you were talking about the thrill of assassinating a public figure. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Daniel, Daniel, you know, I like those risque goofs. So I talk about mailing bombs. You know, I get silly, <laughs> but this one might be a little bit too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you imagine just putting just, two in the back of a social leader? You're like, oh, hey, hey, yeah, bro, hey you, have oh, no idea. Oh. you have no idea the adrenaline rush. To see someone driving down and just being on that grassy knoll, dude. Watching, yeah. <laughs> watching the life leave a man's ass for the betterment yeah. of the right side of history. You know, yeah. dude, you know it's going to be f- like crazy when you kill someone and you're like, bro, there's for sure going to be documentaries about this, dude. I think that's why half of those fools do that. Like, that's the... You don't no. think the fool that put two in the back of Lincoln's wasn't like someone's gonna write a fucking hype telegram about this? No, because you know the guy that killed uh, dude, Princess yeah, he, Di. He's, no, their first grandchildren, off, their grandchildren's like, bro... We made the crown. You all owe us. Changing yeah, the, the guy who <laughs> killed Lincoln. The guy who killed Lincoln was like kind of a gay theater nerd, who like he shot Lincoln in the back of the head, jumped on stage, and was like "Sip Sepper Tyrannus," and like he tried to <laughs> run off. And it's just so lame to just have a line to be walk and to walk out and just be like "Sip Sepper Tyrannus," and people are like, "What does that mean?" It's like. It, in Latin, it means death to the tyrant, I think. I don't know. <laughs> That's what he said. He fucking Bro, put, is he quoting yeah. Hamlet right now? John Wilkes yeah. Booth put two in the back of this fool's head, hopped on stage, and said, fucking Sesemper Tyrannus, and ran yeah. away. Yeah, and then tried to flee on a horse, but his leg was broken. So he was just like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> like, you're walking to the horse the entire What an idiot. Oh, dude, I didn't know Imagine that at all. sitting the night before, just like scribbling with a quill by candlelight, just being like... Just being like no, this ain't it. Nah. That's not, See, no. it sounds good in English, but in Latin, it sounds stupid. It, That's sounds, good. Good. <laughs> it sounds the best in, in Middle Eastern broken English. Death to the infidel is fucking lit, dog. Screaming death to the infidel before Dude, really if you just off. shot fucking Abraham Lincoln, hopped down and said, Oh, Akbar, and then just ran out, <laughs> it'd be like, I don't even know what, is that magic you just said? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> they, do have, they do have lit marketing. Like, there's, there's a couple things you've never seen ads for. It's like, you've never seen, like, uh, like, I guess gas. They don't run gas ads anymore. They don't advertise for milk. And you've never seen an ISIS ad. But those niggas are growing by the day. Dude, that's why Hamas is so, like, it's not even, it, it, they don't have the cinematography that ISIS has. They didn't. You know, it, in, 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 back in the day, you, like, it was 4K ISIS videos, 60 realistically, frames. Realistically, ISIS got into you streaming. Got some, you got some fucking guy coming in on a paraglider. You think yeah. he's got a fucking, you think he's got a, like one of those red camera staff dudes? Yeah. Just no, hell no, dude. That's why Al Qaeda fell off. They didn't believe They didn't believe in the dot com bubble. <laughs> they, didn't get it, they didn't get in on TikTok at the ground <laughs> yeah, floor, dude. Bro, I, Hamas ISIS needs started... rebranding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not, I, I, uh, Hamas, their, their social media is all fucked. They don't got a, a proper X account. Al Qaeda literally has an X yeah. account. Like, get on your yeah. shit, boys. They're what posting on threads? Yeah. It's threads? Like, uh, I think I think uh, 
Haley is uh, literally uh, laughing with her head in her hand going like this the entire time. Andrew's, uh, Andrew's doing the exact same thing over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How both me and you were talking about Andrew's wanna... being a girl. Yeah, dude. You're just mad because fucking ISIS has more Instagram followers than you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, you're ISIS just... is verified. They get posted. Dude, get you're just their mad clips. their reels are blowing up, brother. Literally, <laughs> quite literally blowing up. Yeah, it turns out all they have to do is blur the bag over the lady's head before they cut it. It works with Meta's guidelines. Today we are going to be unaliving this entire village. <laughs> <laughs> it's still fucking. It's still a bunch of jump cuts and titles and captions and shit. Yeah, the I unalive think... bomber is in the fucking TikTok voice. Day they in the like, life of an unalive bomber. <laughs> bomber. They have one of those like you know how like the people have started like making Instagram reels where like they just continuously loop back onto the beginning. I love yeah. those. Yeah. yeah. Imagine just one of those, dude, for ice. It's with like a perfect, the head comes back it's on. It's like, they, it starts off with the swing back here. <laughs> Man, some of those. Dude, are, I really wanted to nice. do one of those, just being like, why I love having sex with my dad. And like going and just be like, he's sweet, he's soft, he's supple. And that is why I love having sex with my dad. Just like a constant <laughs> loop. <laughs> why not? Fuck yeah. Put out, you think that would get banned? You think they get taken down? No. Nah, I'm You're like, here's why, like, I don't think my dad p- would be pumped. <laughs> you weirdly talk about you're fucking your dad or your dad's nuts. He wouldn't or be pumped. Him or, yeah, what are you He wouldn't be about? pumped, but he would be throbbing. Yeah, yeah. I'll get him pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. That's it's not gross. funny talk about having sex with your dad. No, it is, but you do it a lot. Like you, you talk about fucking. The only your the reason why you're mad amount. is because you're having sex with all these random older black men trying to find your dad. And then she has it. <laughs> Are you my holler? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> yeah, they all ask me to call them daddy, but I just want one of them to call me son. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> It's not being the clip either. <laughs> that is the clip, dude. It's the clip. <laughs> uh, sweet Jesus, what else been going on? You had you talked about the the, the kitty cat deal. See, this is three thirty nine. This is sorry. Haley's asked me what time it is because she has a sleeping kitty on her lap. It's very cute. It's very cute. Yo, hit the volume button on that bitch. Fuck her. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm trying yeah. to be like, be like, yo, you want to see I'm how that gonna, shit felt? I'm just going to sneak a Beats pill next to her. <laughs> <laughs> Rupture a goddamn eardrum, yeah. motherfucker. I don't get no playing. sleep because of y'all. Nah, y'all don't get no sleep because yeah, of me. Do you, know, you seen that? do you know who I found? <laughs> Honestly, Daniel, you're, I'm about to open something for you, bud. Have you ever heard of the Venga Boys? <laughs> Give me a second. I'll look it up right now. No, but... I don't. I, anytime any of you assholes assume that you, that you get too excited that I'd be into something, generally a it always pisses me off. Usually, it's no, never like, no, no. You love that ABBA song I showed you. You loved it so much. It, we put it in a fucking reel, dude. We did dance to an ABBA song that you showed me. That is true. I'll give you that. But that was one yeah. time two years ago. Yeah. You listen. You take that one time. You can't open up my heart again. You can't make me learn. You can't make me love again. I know that. <laughs> No, right, look so up. what's the fucking so Venga the Ven- Boys? Venga Boys were like a Brazilian like pop group in the '90s, but they put out like heaters. Like, didn't he, like? Do you know the Oscar Mayer like we like to party? We like the Venga Boys. The Venga Boys, dude. That's, That's Venga them? Boys. Yeah, and guess what they also did? <sighs> boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Who's ever that forever, dude? Heat. They only put out heat. Oh. And like. Yeah, I, like I didn't even yeah. know it was the same person. Bro, it's Brazilian side. Iconic... It's, it's Brazilian side, dude. Oh, yeah. this is cool. Oh, that's cool as shit. Wait, so why are you bringing up the Vanga Boys? Been blasting Vanga Boys, dude. And I've been bringing it up to, at the stand, and everyone calls me a homosexual. And I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is gay butt-fucking music, for sure. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> dude, that's, <laughs> a sa- that's the music that plays anytime somebody opens up poppers. No, that's nope. what that's what like homophobes think that like you just listen to Venga Boys fucking roller skating all day. No, what that's you factual. It, literally any music with that high of BPM. I just in literally that described what Haley's plan was for today. Go roller skating and listen to Venga Boys. You're a gay person, babe. <laughs> You're a gay man. She, does she roller skate or play? She just got roller skates the other day. All right, this is this is a new development. <laughs> 
As soon as I said that, Daniel's face lit up. Babe. She falls <laughs> on her own two feet once a month. We're putting wheels underneath them now. No, but at yeah. least now when she shits herself because she's drunk, she can get out. She has a she has a getaway vehicle. Yeah, dude. And when you poop oh. yourself so often in public, you get, walking doesn't suffice. You There's need to roll the- their, You need to roller skate to your next destination. There's training wheels on the each side. There's six wheels. More stability. I like that. Wait, no, so she's roller skating? Can she like can she actually like gig around? I did. It was uh it was so on a, one of the earliest dates we went to, I think this is probably top five I've ever been mad at Haley. Um uh, I've I've never roller skated. I barely ice skated, I've never rollerbladed. I don't know how to use the feet on the thing. So mm-hmm. Haley takes me to a roller rink. I think I've talked about this on the podcast before, but apparently I don't know what night of the week it was, but it was black guys go a thousand miles per hour night. <laughs> and so that's, what, that's uh, every night at a roller rink. So you're, just, you're just holding on to the side and just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <nigga. laughs> Literally. I now know how way, hitchhikers pussy. feel. I know how hitchhikers feel. Cause I'm sitting on the side of the road next to an active highway. Cause it was just like people going 90 dancing while they're doing it. Backwards. Haley spit. Backwards. Yeah. Haley, Haley just in track the, suits. Yeah. In the movement, just kind of like having fun. And I'm sitting there just like fresh deer legged trying to not eat <laughs> shit. And she's like, you know, you can practice on the carpet. I'm like, can I? Thanks. Damn, I'm she glad. hit you with a, you can like go fuck off over there. Bro, you know I know, and I'm like, I thought this was a date. I didn't know I was just watching you roller skate tonight. This you know is so funny from Tristan's perspective. You know what it sounded like? <laughs> you move, bitch. Move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. The fuck out of my Fucking white boy. <laughs> Dude, just see so much. Dude, and it's so demoralizing just being like <laughs> sitting there, just being like, "All right, how am I so horrifically bad at this?" While someone is drinking just like an open, like clear plastic cup, just liquor, just doing it while <laughs> dancing and staying in perfect rhythm the entire with time. With six other niggas synchronized with the Hennessy sips at the same time. You know what the craziest part is? If one of them wanted to talk to, to Haley while she was away from you skating, you physically couldn't do anything. You would like. Cartoon, whoop, 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 trying to get fucking over to her. Dude, I would have just thrown... army crawl to the yeah. airport, <laughs> yeah, and then watching just... him try to get up to his feet, <laughs> <laughs> just like trying to get up on like a slip and slide, just fucking eating shit. All right, constantly. stay away from her. Stay away from. Her. I'm, I'm on the way, Haley. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> fucking army I, crawl. I get a break. Do something. Cl- fuck. Yeah. God damn it. I get away like... from my fucking fuck. Ah. Girl, fuck you. Yeah, I just like fuck throw you. a roll I throw a roller skate into the prize catcher the prize claw machine to start throwing stuff onto the fucking field. Just be like trip, I don't care. There's obstacles now. It's Mario. And Kart. guess what? They're jumping and then hitting a dance move at the, as the landing. And you then they Yeah. Maybe it's just the innate like black ability cuz I can roller skate, mm. ice skate backwards fucking like real nice cuz me and Brody used to go to the ice den every Friday and Saturday. That's a very single mom activity for their child. Oh yeah, dude. She would bro, that was our club, bro. That was our club. Brody used to come over at fucking he used to come home with That me was after your school. bottle service. Buddy, when I tell you, <laughs> we would put on loose flannels open. More Axe body spray than any Persian could ever fathom and have my mom drive us to the fucking Altel ice den that started at like 7 p.m., dude. It was like $9 a ticket, and me and Brody were in that bitch posting, bro, just looking for problems. It was it was nice. I also ran into the girl that Brody used to, not like fuck in, in middle school. But oh, like she make followed out. me. Yeah, make out with. I saw Brody's like. First official Bro- make out? Brody, yeah, Brody's like first girl. We were all like dating, so I was dating one, and then like there was three girls and three guys, and we were all dating, you know, each other. Not like. Not like your sister's deal, but like like all singularly. <laughs> and uh <laughs> classic coke, I like it. Yeah, yeah classic. <laughs> none of this none of this gold can bullshit. And uh yeah. we we were all dating Cherry and- Vanilla. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who's drinking yeah, a coffee coke? coke. <laughs> coffee coke. No, and this girl crazy? Was, yeah, this girl imagine I love you. Uh she was the first one to get knockers, like out of Basically anyone in our fucking middle school group or whatnot. She was the first one to get John C. Knockers. John C. No- John D. Knockers. First John one to get John D. Knockers. John D. Knockers. First of his name. First time I was ever legitimately jealous of Brody. I was like, what? You get to fucking touch titties? I have bigger boobs than my girlfriend right now. 
I don't, there's no point to that story. And you started eating a pig in a blanket in the middle of that, which is, I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? I'm like, throw it to Trist. Oh, no, this guy's cramming pastries and meat. What I would mouth. like to do, what I'd like you to do is provide me with a hot mustard dipping sauce, but you cannot. So What about a, a will a honey mussy suffice? I will take a honey mushy dippy sauce. What's the what's the best dip? What's the best overall? You have you have a plain chicken nugget. What what's your go to? Hot mustard, dude, all the way. Like McDonald's hot mustard or like? Oh yeah. Really? Okay. I, that's that's maybe in my top two. What's yours? Either like a super sweet honey barbecue or like a honey mussy. Dude, I'll hit, fat, you, I'll hit you with one. Fat. Fat. Bro, barbecue fat. sauce is not fat guy shit. Nope. I will it not stand for this. It is fat guy shit. It is heretic. This heresy. It's six different types of sugar. It's brown sugar, white sugar, I'm, any other sugar they make thrown in with molasses. Bro, I'm straight up sugar, dude. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> You're just basically putting, like, toothpaste on your fries. That's Pretty like, much. It's, oh, tiny. She fell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just watched not... her fall off the ottoman. She was licking her leg and went... And just hit the ground. I'll hit you with a. I'll hit you with one you probably didn't see coming. Bronco berry sauce from what the Arby's. Fuck. It's what are you? Why? Up, why are you just like you pulling up these homemade sauces? No, like mommy's not. boom boom <laughs> sauce. I love it. <laughs> oh, you've never heard of the chicken tiki tiki sauce? No. Pull you, know yeah. you know, actually, you know what I'm getting with my chicken nugget? Drip sauce. Drip, drip sauce. sauce. I'm drip sauce. I'm with drip chicken. I'm fucking <laughs> telling you, there's no reason we shouldn't be bottling drip sauce. I would actually love. If there was, we have a perfect name for a hot sauce. Why not? A final stop hot sauce. That's like, there's, and then there's a, you know. They could be called a, TFS, the final sauce. Whoa. Damn. I just love saying cornball shit. Just watching me blow Daniel's mind. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> just cornball basic, uh, just like business stuff and just being like, but what if? Do you know what hey, sauce? Cornball Hey, boys. Hey, boys. I hate to burst everyone's bubble. Black. Why? Garlic, wait, drip sauce. <laughs> wait, drip sauce. Premium black garlic hot sauce. No, damn. It's called damn. drip sauce. It's drip. It's sauce a whole company. company. It's drip sauce company. There's a whole family behind drip sauce. It's a drip Fuck. sauce family name. God damn it. Well, let's see if drip sauce will sponsor the pod. If no. Carlos Mencia did it. We can too. That's ours. All right. <laughs> how many? How many reviews does this thing have? Forty-five ratings. Oh, we could we could market share them. Dude, right this out is the this final bullshit. stop podcast from that fucking NASCAR one all over again. We're taking. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, yeah I, we looked. There was a final stop and we started, and they had like four subscribers and nineteen videos. I was like, if these niggas make. Oh a stink, yeah. Which, how about <laughs> we'll raise you four subscribers and hundred and twenty videos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah doing all right. We shall hit monetization this year. We should. Actually, I actually firmly believe that. The second half of this year, we're going to have some very big guests for y'all niggas. I promise. We're going to be back in studio. The gang's going to be together. How is it going to look? The Mescal Manor Mach 12. The Mescal Manor's going to the other side of fucking. Oh. Uh, they have to cut it in half and ship it on those oversized load cars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. uh, we need trailers physically to move the left side of the wing. Uh, but yeah. Uh, what do you, yeah. you call those? Uh, not pace cars. That's fucking NASCAR. The. Yeah, the trucks, the fucking the trucks that like are in the front and the back. R are, rally cars? No, of like, no, the, the ones that load. follow the oversized load ones. I've always wanted which, to ride that's one. That's such of those. a good job. Yeah, you just sit in the fucking Ford F one fifty and just be like, "Here we go, let's make sure." And what do you do? You're not supposed like, oh, if this big fucking beam dude. falls off this truck, like, what do I do? You gotta eat that, yeah, dude. Just five eat it, dude. <laughs> yeah, swerve into it. <laughs> You got to go out like one of those Vikings that has like 17 arrows in him is like, bro, I'm still going to fuck yeah. this guy up. Is that, yeah. do, does anyone else dream of dying in battle? Do you guys have? Constantly. Yeah. Constantly. I think that's a. Do you? Because you kind of got a Mr. Mom thing going on. I don't think you have that daily internal monologue of dying would, for state and country. Oh, I would. I mean, like part of me thinks it's like I would love to go to war and be the man. But I just know that that's not what it's going to be. So you like, would go to war like the nigga from Ants. You know the fucking the small bug that wants to the small ant that wants to run out with all the soldiers and ultimately stays alive because he's a pussy and falls in a hole. That would be. I would love to see you just physically carry a like a rifle, like a full size gun, because it's heavy as fuck. Just to see your yeah. arms be like okay, start shaking a little bit. You got to reload. It's like, <laughs> I mean, I've gone. We've gone. We did. Shooting we did that. Stuff. It's called the gun plug. Fuck. It Even was I so bad you that. forgot about it. <laughs> Well, somebody watched the goddamn gun plug. Bro, Nobody I, watched it. You didn't even watch it, and you were there. He didn't even watch it. We edited it, it together. It was so good. It was so good. That was actually a really fun time. We got to do more like team activities like that. Yeah, I just want to be in better health. 
That was honestly what made it kind of fun. So is much the more fact fun. that it's you were like Tristan, Tristan is <laughs> just on a ventilator in the back, and just shaking, dude, shaking feeble, the entire feeble time. Bitch. <laughs> that was good. That strengthened our friendship because we were like, we we're like, all right, cool. This guy's willing to literally almost die to get some content off. I like that. And then you immediately were a menace the entire way home, just being like, dude, I need to get back. I need to. I hurt so bad. I was like, I know. I'm driving. Dude, I'm I like every 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 other block to be like, pull over, dude. I need you to pull over. <laughs> no, we up. didn't even pull over once. I had a fucking bag in my hand that I was barfing into the entire time. That's why, time. because you. That's why, because you kept telling us to pull over, and we're like, no. no. <laughs> the no, guy's part is you just kept spitting. You weren't like even throwing up towards the end. You're just like. I had nothing in my stomach. I was just like, I was just, it was bile. At yeah, that you had point. nothing in your stomach and hate in your fucking heart. <laughs> but that being said, I was, up. I was crushing in the back of that car. I, I remember making everyone laugh pretty hard. <laughs> you did. You like looked up. You're like, fuck. Ah. <laughs> Went right back down to throwing. It, it was up. like lucid, yeah. Tristan. violent, bro. You go, ah! Join the yeah. finals. <laughs> I remember we we're talking it's about fun. something. Yeah. yeah, we were talking about baseball or something, and I just like felt like I was about to barf, and I was like, Ugh, "Play ball." Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a Lauren running joke. We're like, "Fucking Lauren, hire this man!" And now Lauren, 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 and now fuck the guy that Lauren hired. Fucking Lauren. God damn it! I watched. Uh, I watched the last few episodes of Family Guy. We talk about this? No. Honestly? I haven't seen I watched them out of order on YouTube. Rapidly. Oh, Tristan's been in and telling out. me to watch the new Ted show. It's so funny. Really like it. Is it Seth McFarland? Yep. Okay, because yep. I, ref- I refuse it's, if they Honestly, got fucking... I'm not even kidding you. It's pretty much live action family guy, and it's very fun. Well, that's all Ted the movies were, but they did cutaways they had. It was just basically live action family guy. I'm not no, it that. wasn't like they don't do cutaways like family guy. It's like American Dad kind of where like they have like it, it's almost pretty much the same thing as American Dad, except for it's like not a CIA guy. It's just some like random dad from Boston and shit. But like the Roger is Ted, obviously. But like they, they have like very linear jokes, but it's just it's so there's some just very silly parts that like Haley's just like. I don't. I, she doesn't enjoy it as much as I do, but I'm just like, ha, ha, Seth MacFarlane, you are my god. Cover me and come. Like that's pretty much <laughs> my. <laughs> Is it just one season? Yeah, it's one season, but it's like 50 minutes of episodes, and there's like 10. So it's like, or like eight. There's like eight hours of just straight up Ted you can watch. Just they're get filled. Hour. Ew, they're doing hour long Ted's. That is so Dude, much Ted. Just, just get grab, just grab your cheeks and get. Dude, there's. It's actually really funny. Because like one of the plot lines is he has a bully and he was like to fuck with his bully he pretended to be his dad but through pretending to be his dad he started caring about his bully and wanted to see him get good grades and like just being like he got an A on the math test being like oh my god it's so fucking awesome and just like it was <laughs> it, it it gets really good I like it a lot that accent's great he's not actually even from the East Coast is he does he just do that accent really well where's he from yeah uh, I think he's from Boston. Oh, yeah, actually? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That. That makes a lot of sense. Do you know that every flight he doesn't get on is one of the flights that... Yeah, I just... I love that story about how Seth MacFarlane almost got on the plane for uh, 9-11. 9/11. Was, yeah. Yeah. Do you know every plane he goes on is almost a plane to 9-11? It's a non-zero chance. He's from... Uh, it says Rhode Island. That makes sense. Isn't that like... Isn't that where uh, Quahog's at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This makes I don't think that's a real place. It's crazy how the only town I know in Rhode Island is not a real place. It's Quahog. Couldn't tell you one fucking real. And after that, my next guess would be like a Pawtucket Lane or something. Where like that. Bill Belichick lives. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you properly, like, what is New England? Oh, no. It's Connecticut. He was born in Connecticut. Okay. Like, what the that fuck is, is New England? It's what Massachusetts? a fun, just the dumbest question ever. What a fun, stupid, what is New England? It's a state, you dunce. No, what it's do you not expect? Yeah. It's like is it New England is, a collection of is an area. New England a meal? Is New it England's, a state New of Eng- being? New England's like the tri-state area, right? Not like actually yeah. the tri-state area, but it's like the you know how there's like a tri-state area. Yeah, there's a New what? England consisting of what? Touch New England. <laughs> Can I, yeah. What is New England? If I feel, New, if I New have Eng- it in my hand, will it be wet or New, hard? New England. This is like your Banksy part two. But New England is the region comprising of six, six states, 
in northeastern United States, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. Thank All right. You. So now, that is that the definition of the tri- <laughs> Is that the definition of the tri-state area or New England? No, the tri-state area is where three it's, states are kind of similarly located. And I all think right, it's Jersey, um, dumbass, and- dumbass, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> I'm calling so much dumbass. You're breaking down the word as you're saying it. You're like, oh, try, no, that's great. Area is fucking doofenshmirtz is always trying to take over that shit. That's the only yeah. thing I know about the tri-state area. Yeah. Ah! What the fuck was that? Voice. What was that? I was, trying to, I, was trying to, I was trying to lock in and do a fucking... In, in, in nature, 3,000 in nature. I can't do it. Oh, yeah. Jesus. I, ah! Oh, <laughs> no, dude. What the... Wait, he never screeches. I'm trying never... to lock in the voice. Like, you know, when I... No, 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 no. Stop being no. losers. You're being no. gainers. No. Everyone's no. being a gainer. No. We, finally, we finally put this eh. to bed. Eh. We finally put this to bed. No, you're not pretty You guys back. are just mad because I do yeah. one accent pretty all right. And you do it so goddamn much. I do it pretty all right. So goddamn much. Has anyone watched the new Curb yet? No, my buddy's no. in the first episode, though. You have a friend? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, do you want to take this? Do you want me to get okay, it? Okay, you know what? I'm going to go. I have a cookie hey, over I'll here. I'll go fuck myself. Fuck I'll it. go fuck myself. <laughs> all right. Miss, all right. I don't want to hear shit from you, Tristan, mister. I have friends in SNL. Fuck you, Aldo. Fuck you. We get food together. What? <laughs> who is your friend? Who is, who is your friend? Who's the buddy at the beginning of Curve Your Enthusiasm? Who is it? Uh, Please Noah Kopfer. Yeah, can you can you pull up his Instagram so we can see that he follows you? Yeah, he does. I obviously dumb. I hate this kid so much. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Rye follows me. Does that make me cool? Oh, oh actually, oh. yeah. Oh no, this is the public episode. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Because Do you I see actually, that I, Lisa Ann got kicked out of Matt Rife's show? I did, I did see that. I did see that. Yeah. Pivot. Fuck. How did I forget that in the internal affairs? God damn. It. I'll tell you off air, dude. <laughs> Matt Rife has real estate in somebody that oh, we know's head. Oh yeah, no, we can't do that on the public. Dude, no. like a whole, like a whole no. a new development in this nigga's head. Not even like a like one singular house. He bro, has you know how like build. they're making developments in like Rocky Point, bro. I've never seen someone be so bothered by another man. It was literally it made my brought it up. Someone was so bothered, many times. bothered by him. So many times, com- another comedian. At, I mean, his whole mental headspace is just it's Matt Rife Lane, it's Matt Rife Avenue, it's Matt Rife Way. So much he owns dude. the whole thing. Is he a local? No, and we'll it- talk about it off air. No. I'll give too, I'll give too much away if I talk more about it, but yeah, it's fucking now. Man. I understand a little bit, but you guys shut up about when I start talking when the you don't want to call Chris Italia fat. I've got some book dates now, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe we just maybe we keep this off. Air. We oh, this so off it's air. someone who you know. <laughs> It's someone uh, who's who he's friends with. Someone who's, ah, someone who's okay. providing. Have I friends. messaged this guy on Twitter before? No. Oh, sh- also, what it- back end business are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It, it, did we do a show in Seattle? No, no. Ah, okay. Ah, very fun. <laughs> Very if you're fun. paying attention 40 minutes in and caught that congratulations that's you, <laughs> earned, you earned knowing what we're talking he, about. he's he's trying to jack his flow bro real estate can't dog. talk about it real, can't talk about real estate it. he's trying that to jack said, his peen that being said doing three uh outdoor amphitheater shows with said man so we're gonna keep it fucking in in new york city so we're gonna keep it hush hush, hush. i'll tell you after god i will tell you so much more yeah i'll tell you after uh oh dude are yeah, you, do you have to burn effigy candles before every show? <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. Just put uh, a land of one of those like Chinese lanterns with a single flame, just let it into the sky, like oh, it has no, a wish. But, but just assume that if Daniel wasn't there every time before he would walk on stage, just throw it like one of those like scenes in a movie where you throwing knife a wall and it's just a picture of the guy. Yeah, I, just, I know. Brrr, yeah, I, like, know, I now understand that the the space of hot guy comedy I want to operate in is the cattiest fucking space of comedy that probably exists in the world. Besides, like, the only one, the only other one is big black ladies competing uh, comedically. Right after that, dude, hot niggas are catty as fuck. Well, the Holy thing shit. is, too, Tristan, I don't know if you remember, but when I was in the green room for the Rife guest spot, Homeboy was talking mad shit, too. It's just a, it's just a, L.A. is just a comic circle of just talking shit about each other. Sure, yeah, that bro, everyone, New York to some degree, Everyone too. sucks, dude. Everyone just sucks, and they're just like, 
Dude, it's crazy how he thinks that a jawline is going to get him more followers, and then it does, and he's like, Aah! like just stealing. <laughs> Dude, yeah. it is. It is like um, it was. It was both kind of cool because you know I got to see some like. Uh, he was nice enough to like show me some fucking real inside baseball shit and some numbies and breakdowns and shit like that. Um, but it's also like weird to see like, uh, it's also weird to see like, no matter how good you're doing, there's hey, always a bigger dragon. There's always a bigger there's dragon. There's always a bigger, bigger dragon. There's always a bigger, Fuck you look up, bud, sucks. find yeah. that dragon. Even Chappelle mm-hmm. is probably like uh, Dangerfield or what? Uh, uh, this guy did Madison Square Garden more times than I did, or like something. Like it doesn't matter where you're at. There's always gonna be a fucking bigger dragon, and god damn it, that kind of blows. It's like, do you ever get to a point where it's like, oh, I'm doing fucking, I'm crushing, I'm selling out shows, making a bunch of money doing that? Yeah, and they're like, you know, this guy made ten million dollars in six months. You're like, fuck, man, now I'm not doing shit anymore. It was real, like, uh, it was very interesting to see. Followed by seeing a guy who's doing exceedingly well, not even make eye contact with me for 40 minutes. I've been having a weekend. What's up? Doing fucking all right. Yeah. So salty as fuck. That's fun. Yeah. I had like, I was a, there was a Netflix, a Netflix guy at the stand last night and I was just trying, trying to talk to him, man. And that went just bad. Did he like, <laughs> did he like Hollywood you? What? Did he like Hollywood you? Or what do you mean it went bad? Nah, it was just, it was after the show. It was probably like 2 a.m. People were like rowdy getting drinks. And I'm like, hey, man, I'm Tristan. Nice to meet you. And he's like, nice to meet you too, dude. And I'm like, I like your jacket. It's a cool bomber. Where'd you get it? And he just like looks, he shoulders, and there's a huge embroidered N on it, a red N. And I'm just like, oh, did you get that like at Netflix or something? He's like, yeah, I work there. And I'm like, cool. Uh-huh. And they just looked at him for like, and I just Charlie looked, horsed him, and I walked away. Ah, uh, because then yeah. it got weird. Because because before you were just like talking to him, and then he threw some fucking stakes behind it, and then it made it weird. Because now it's like, so now this is clearly networking. What do what do I do from here? Like he didn't give you anything to work I know. with. I it's, it's not good to just be like, I work at Netflix. And I'm like, well, that's a cool jacket. Yeah, be like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you give me a spell? Like, what do you what do you follow up with that? Yeah. Can um. You, can you give me the top ten? Like I, uh, I know Bob's Burgers. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to you right now. Are they bringing back F for Family? Please, no. I heard they're doing a new office spinoff. Please, help me. Are you guys bringing back How I Met Your Mother to the streaming platform? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching what, it on Hulu. There's ads. I wonder how that works though. Like if you're a non-comedian and you're just a suit who like works in the biz, you probably yeah. have to like wear your shit around in order because otherwise you're just another. Fucking, who the hell is gonna fi- figure out that you, unless you're like. Lauren Michaels or like some like underground like talent scout to where you're afraid they're not going to be like your true self if you're just a guy who works somewhere like I can imagine honestly I would feel like it'd kind of be a lot because like he was hanging out in the green room and like everyone was trying to go up to him and talk to him and shit and I'm just like as soon as you put on that like fucking uniform people are just like lining up to suck your nuts yeah you put on a Superman outfit you're handing out bread that's what they that's what comedians see they're like oh my god you're my way out sir (laughs) No, yeah, yeah. That, that that jacket is his bottle service, dude. Which, that must feel fucking, bro. Feeling wanted's pretty nice. Can you imagine just fucking throwing on a Netflix end, having no association, just walking into a club, being like, hey, guy, I liked your set. Having a guy show way too much interest in you? Nah, it sounds terrible. That sounds I have horrible. A, <laughs> I have a Just for Laughs Letterman jacket. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start wearing around. Yeah, that would be weird to, to wear a, a piece of merch that had a fun brand on it in hopes that it gains you a little bit of something. Yeah, it's stupid. And we should never sell shirts. Hear that? We'll never do it again. <laughs> we'll hey, never do you. it again. Come on. Bro. I had them against the ropes. Don't take them away. Hey, I'll fuck you. Oh, you knew exactly what I was <laughs> yeah, yeah, Immediately, about. I was like, oh. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. Notice me. In my don't Notice me, hoodie. senpai. Notice me. <laughs> that, that hoodie guy... is dope as fuck, though. What? <laughs> It is it is dope as fuck. Now is it dope to wear thirty eight percent of the month? I mean, it, it is it is just a black hoodie at that point. <laughs> Even Andrew shit for wearing a don't tell hoodie everywhere he goes. He was basically Netflixing. He was walking around fucking stand up live, being like, I don't know if you know this. Yeah, or not, I don't but. know, but I stole this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this or not, but this is actually one size smaller yeah. than I ordered. But I'm still gonna yeah. whip this all over. It, it did give yeah. me it did give me a jumping in point for a conversation with 
with him though, so it's easier. Course, that's why you wear it. Dunce. Yes. That's the same reason the Netflix asshole had on an N bomber. Yeah. That's, the, that's why fucking college dude. Ooh, that's literally. Ooh, he, that's it. That's so funny. Dude, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a bomber jacket bomber. with the N word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what I thought you were going for for a second. It's like, bro, that's a dope bomber. Where'd yeah, you I have an N bomber says? on. <laughs> I, got, I got my N bomber on. That's funny. As <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Now is anyone doing that merch? We're bro, selling. Wear that at your wedding, dog. We're we're, <laughs> we're selling end bombs after the show. That's fucking great. We got hot, we got soft end bombs if you're not black, and then we got no, we do have a hard that, end bomb that's, option. That's your drink specials, bro. Instead of no, like a car just, bomb, instead of a car bomb, it's an end bomb, dude. Mezcal end bombs. <sighs> that sounds good, kind of. Get a nice mezcal. I was about to say, what would be an end bomb? Uh, you'd have to be like, it's, it would it's be like Henny a, into a Red Bull, dude. Uh, no, no, I was gonna say a, like an end bomb is probably like. A thing of Jägermeister into a Bud Light. It would an end bomb. <laughs> an end bomb would be like watermelon schnapps with like, uh, like like Don Perignon and Duce <laughs> out of a <Yeah>. chalice. That's <laughs> out of yeah. a chalice for sure. That's yeah. A, that's an end bomb. Yeah, and, also and then you know how like they do sake greens. bombs where it's like sake, sake, sake you go, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> yeah, bro. There's certain bro things that are just like the coolest thing to do ever. <laughs> hooing, hooing like that with a group of men, bro. It's the best. I wouldn't even be opposed to the group uh, group of niggas <laughs> screaming in the rainforest. I wouldn't. Have you seen that video yeah. where the bros are just like, oh, just like war? Crying. Oh yeah, where they're like, oh, yeah. like just staring into a waterfall. <sighs> I wouldn't be opposed to that at all, dude. Everyone goes out there in loincloths, just covering our fucking nuts and just sweating, batting around mosquitoes. Just being like, <sighs> dude, there's this. Uh, just there's getting this, malaria. Yeah, going to the Rainforest Cafe. Yep. Uh, but there's this. Uh, what's it called? Video I saw on Twitter. There's this. Uh, there's this uh, lead singer of this band called uh, Slaughter to Prevail. It's a it's a good fucking band. It's hard as fuck. It's like super deep metal, and he's just like a Russian dude, like every good like fucking death metal band is, and so like uh, he's just like tatted up, ripped fucking Russian dude, and like I know he, exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, is this video of like him hanging? At, he's like wrestling a bear, and like his face is just bleeding, and he's that. just like yeah, and the bear is attacking him, and he's growling back at the bear with like the same octave fervor that the bear is like you're talking shit dude like you're yeah. talking shit right now he's like he's just like Aah! and they're just like all the comments are just like i don't know who's winning i really don't know who's winning in this bear fight bro Usually, I, I, russians don't fucking play i don't understand what these niggas obsessions with with bears or whatnot because like he's not the only one there's like multiple it's just a thing over there you just, you're you're a newborn. You get a cub. Here's a cub. That'll be your cub. You wrestle that nigga until it gets too big, and then you let him go in the wild, and then you find. Yeah, him that's later. how like Khabib came up. Like yeah, he just, was, he was wrestling bears. bears, and he's like, oh, I get to fight people now. Thank God. <laughs> now, that being said, I, I did see a video of what I thought was going to be another one of those like Russian bear fights, but it was just a guy in a really good bear suit, and he stood up and started shadow boxing. Oh yeah, I saw that like little foot shuffle. I did that. The, Nothing's more fun than squaring up on niggas randomly and just shadow boxing. When I drank a little bit, I love doing that. Just walking up to a guy and just, like, he's pulling a Lewis J. Night. Gomez, just shadow boxing. <laughs> I think that's fucking Bro, I, Daniel J. Gomez, dude. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't. You I guys get... am terrified of the day <laughs> because there is an off chance that, like, all right, they might, they might not like each other, but if Daniel and Lewis just click, I think I it's feeling... done. I think it's done comedy wise. I think all of com because Daniel's gonna be like, all right, we're gonna merge Gas Digital and the Final Stop Productions together. Right, doggy, and be like, TFS yes, and doggy, Gas yes, doggy. And he's like, I completely understand. And just being like, do you guys want to do push ups? Like, duh, I want to do push ups. Gay nerd. I've never thought of gay nerd before. Mm, I yeah. like that. <laughs> you guys Finally. are just firing off on the if same you think four you synapses. Found a slur or an insult Lewis hasn't thought of yes. already. Yes. Out of your mind. I would love Daniel. That. Be... Daniel's gonna go on real last podcast and just burn down not only his career but everyone. <laughs> I think I hate that you said that because honestly, ever since I've kind of fucked with the Legion of Skanks podcast, he has been the one guy that I'm like, I feel like I would vibe with him a lot. Even though Jay's like a football and sports fan, Lewis is the one guy where I'm like, he's kind of. I think me and him would get along very nice. Yeah, I remember. I, I one time he was drunk. He does not remember this, but like we were like downstairs in the green room, and Jay introduced me to him. He's like, "Oh, you're a little cutie, aren't you?" And he started like poking at me. I'm like, "Dude, 
And I'm like, dude, I'll fucking tickle you right now. And then we just started like tickle fighting each other in like the green room. And he's like, this guy's cool. I like this guy. I'm like, dude, I'll fucking kill you, dude. Come he's at thick, me. He's a thick kid too. I don't he's how thick large. He was I, he's a yeah, large guy. He's a big old boy. Yeah, I didn't realize that. He's like a, and he knows like how to fight a little bit. That's a like an actual scary human. Like he's probably up there in like the list of badass comics. It's like obviously Rogies is up there, but then there's there's him. Uh, um, Berg. Why can I think of his, no, why can't I think of his name? Uh, dude, Aaron uh, Berg is a fucking sh- brick shit house, dude. Uh, yeah, Jamal Neighbors is another one who's a fucking, I mean, ginormous man who doesn't take shit even kind. That's a scary motherfucker. Yeah, and Chappelle puts a Mohawk on to do a set. Yeah, that's probably another one up there. It's another like 250 pound just fucking bear. Yeah, dude. There, there's Shame. some people who are just. Shane's like big, but he's, he's not. Big, like... He's not a fight. There's some dudes, some of these motherfuckers, because. For some reason, combat sports and comedy oh, pair well doesn't together. Rife, doesn't Rife know how to fight? Yeah, all those dudes do jujitsu. That's like a way of life out there in LA. It's like you wake up, do a little jiu-jitsu bit of healthy botox. So, it's just so just do kickboxing and just being like, yeah, I, I love it. I saw this video on fucking Reddit where they're like, when people say jujitsu isn't good in a street fight, and I'm like, dude, if it isn't. Like, I understand that you can choke, you can kill a guy with jujitsu if you're really good. But if you're like layman's terms if you're a blue belt in jujitsu versus a blue belt in like like kickboxing kickboxing is going to help you so much more because you're like gonna sit there and be like oh usually i choke you out with your gi but you're wearing a tank top so i can't really (laughs) use that move Uh, i'll I'll give you i'll argue back at that i think that it depends because like in a street fight there's no rules and getting niggas gouge eyes but you get like it's harder to knock someone out than it is because the fight's going to go to the ground. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, the fight's going to end up on the ground anyway, and then the jiu-jitsu guy's going to destroy you. It's like you need to – and you don't even need to know how to like – you don't need to be a black belt. If you know one arm bar versus a guy who has no clue what the fuck's going on, yeah, you're going to break that guy's elbow in three seconds. He's going to – Yeah. As long as you don't get knocked out by getting punched on the ground, you're catching something and putting that guy to sleep, which has to be Through cool. the power of gay sex. Dude, I have hey. dreamed about that. Just like having a guy, you're like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Thank you. Just like putting a guy on the ground and being like, he thought he could fuck with me. And people are like, yes, like just being totally justified and like putting a guy down. I'm not killing Did him. Did you see uh, that like, it was this old interview with Hulk Hogan and like he went on some like, he got sued for this because he fucking, he's like, all right, I'm going to put you out. I'm going to put you out to, like, the host of the show. Puts him out because they're like, it's all the whole, like, wrestling is fake. And he's like, oh, wrestling's fake? Come here. I'll show you something fake. Chokes <laughs> just, him out. Just rolling it up. <laughs> and chokes him out and just goes, arms open. The guy just hits his head. Like, and he, like, is knocked out for, like, 35 seconds comes back and he's like all right so we're gonna we're gonna go to a quick commercial break we're gonna go to a quick commercial break and we're on a commercial break now and like there's like a documentary he's like yeah i had no idea what was going on i just got up and started just brain rambling and have you ever ever been knocked out no no a fair few times yeah i've never been that bad knocked out it's like 35 seconds but there's definitely been i was running the ball and now I'm on the ground, and I don't remember the in-between of how I got there. And I'm just standing up again. And you're like, you get this weird kind of, it feels like drugs almost. It feels like the beginning of mushrooms, where you're like, whoa, something's, I'm like lucid. The fucking room's kind of spinning, but in a way that's fun. It's weird. Being like actually concussed is fucking nah, I insane. Remember, I remember one time I was going out for a ball, <clears throat> and then like I'm sliding down to grab it, and the next thing I know I'm just sitting on the goalpost. And I was like... How the fuck bro, did I get here? When you, lose, when you lose frames in real life, it's actually fucking, it's scary as shit. Yeah. Like, whoa. We, like, blacking out is one thing, self inflicted. You're like, all right. Not planning on missing shit is crazy. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I at? Whoa. What happened? <laughs> what the hell? It's like a yeah. fucking scary ass feeling. A little time traveling. Yeah. I mean, and that's I, what imagine... happens when you mix uh, alcohol and Xanax. I've done that before. Oh, yeah. I forgot you used to be a fucking. You used to be a party guy. That's what happens. Dude, nah, that's hey, what happens when you mix alcohol with alcohol and then more alcohol. Ritalin, Xanax, alcohol, alcohol, cocaine, a little bit of bumps here and there. Have you, you ever did. tried mixing vodka with gin? Ugh. Ugh. It's not good, dude. It hurts. You just barf a lot. What's the what's like the back of your party at Heyday? What's the hardest you went? And the hardest I went? Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I don't know. I just drink too much, man. And you know, I'd get like sick for a full day. Yeah. Where like I'd just be out for the count and be shaking all day and stuff like that, just being like getting like violently ill. 
And then, then, you, I, and then it started all over again at about 8 p.m.? Yeah. yeah. But get it all running. Uh, dude, not even 8 p.m., like like 1. I yeah. think I told you guys the first day of college, I blacked out twice that day. Jesus, how you black out twice? I blacked out in the morning, took a nap, woke up at like 9 p.m., and then blacked out again. You're a fucking menace. That was my first day of college. Jesus Christ! I think, and then I think the most. I and did he was graduated like, summa cum laude, top of his field. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the most I've drank though is like thirty-four shots in a night. Yeah, yeah I've probably I mean, taken down like a case of beer. I don't think I've ever truly blacked out. You guys are fucking. I was blacking out every day. Miss it. Well, that's like getting uh, knocked out. Once you do it once, it gets a little bit easier because your brain's like, "We need to help this nigga," and it knows what's about to happen. It understands. It's like, yeah. oh, this guy's gonna drink a fishbowl of vodka. We're gonna turn you off. Right yeah, now. I drink like a bottle. If like I was having like fun and shit like that, the thing I would drink like a <laughs> bottle of vodka in at night. <laughs> what if you weren't having? F- what if you weren't having fun? What if you were just casually hanging around? Uh, usually, like, still a bottle. Yeah. Yeah, like half a bottle of vodka. Yeah. Are you saying like a fifth? Yeah, like a uh, most of a fifth. Most of it would be gone daily. Yeah. Shh. Yeah. I'm a beer guy. It's like sometimes I'll do like twelve back to back to like the last couple of days I've probably had. 50 beers, dog. Well, like, it's, also, it's also like, dude, I, I, did I ever tell you the story uh, about the time? I like, I, okay, I was telling uh, Kyle about it last night, but I remember one time I got blackout drunk in Huntington and I got, like, I, I went, I was used to be like a runner when I was blackout drunk. So I was like, I just go off on my own, on my own adventures. And so I lost you. my friend group and I had no idea how to get home and my phone was dead. So I just, I was so drunk. I was like, the only way I know how to get home is through the freeways. And so I just on foot walked on the side of the freeway and got home. You didn't get pulled over by there was no cop. It was, was like, like four in the morning. There was nobody on the freeway. Dude, I I was Jesus. coming home from like I don't know if it was a show or like a hang or something like that, and I was so fucking hammered driving home. I had to like pull into several parking lots just to barf, and then just be like, we gotta get there, and like playing music as loud as I can, and then just like yep. park parking fucked up in the driveway yep. Yep. falling asleep in my car and my mom knocking on the window when she's going to work <laughs> holy shit you've had that situation before Bro, i almost oh, burned yeah. down i almost burned down my college house blackout drunk because i was trying to make food oh my God. i was trying to make spaghetti that's a little less embarrassing than your mom being like baby uh what the fuck's going on why are you i'm asleep? just like i'm like it was a late night i'm tired and she's like all right just go inside and i'm like yeah she bought that she was just like, I'm fine. No, she didn't buy that. Yeah, she knew what the she, fuck was happening. She just didn't want to face it. The car was a fucking T-bone. It, was, it shouldn't even have been parked in the driveway horizontally. There were skid marks on the lawn. Yeah. S- like, I mean, I fucking... Uh, Haley has found me just sleeping on the kitchen floor before. Oh, I've done that before. I have. A, there's a picture of me just <laughs> what? passed out, half hunched over the, the bathtub. What the fuck? You were falling asleep on kitchen floors, like, recently? Recently is crazy. Yeah. Recently is nuts. Recently is crazy. Not recently. I'd say like last Within year. Within the last year is recently. That's we've been together crazy. for two we've been together for like two years. I dude, we I'm not the same man two years ago that I was that I am today. No, I can't. Not even a little bit. Yeah. I, I've very much so matured. <laughs> I would like to think so, honestly. I would like to I would like to Well put it there. I mean, to be fair, the bar was set. I mean, so low. I mean, I, I was in being a fucking basement, so low. Bro. I was a cocaine gremlin, dude. I was, a, I was bad. <laughs> posting gun pictures with David Kay's on fucking yaks. It's down here, buddy. Yeah, bro, dude. posting uh, would you fuck me, I'd fuck me pictures on your Instagram. Dude, you that have, was I That mean, was not, that was just me having fun in high school. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't too much drugs. That was like acid. I mean, yeah, one, one got to be more than zero. But no, I'm like the I'm like the on the realty. Something got to be more than zero. On the yeah. realty, no, you have matured a little bit. I Mature. would say so myself as the resident. Uh, Don't you're, wink at me, you bitch. As the wait, resident, are you saying you're you're the sole reason of my maturity? Is that you? Is because without you, I wouldn't be mature. No, I'm not saying I'm the sole reason. Uh, I'm saying I'm your mentor. <laughs> I'm saying I'm your. You're not I'm my mentor. Your you're a spiritual. Mentor. I'm saying I'm your spiritual guy. You're the bad home, mentor. You filmed a Home Depot spirit. bucket with fucking Miller Lights, dude. <laughs> you had a bucket on like two episodes yeah, ago. Yeah, a barf bucket filled with Miller Lights. It was crazy. <laughs> they were Bud Lights, and it was a steel bowl, idiots. This yeah, that's a barf dip. bucket. That's what you use when you're sick. <laughs> it's used so for popcorn f- and barf. 
That's gross. Would your mom use the same one? You'd wash it. I wouldn't be scraping fucking cornflakes off the side of it and just being like, oh, I can't wait to watch Mission Impossible. If you pissed in a cup and rinsed it out through the dishwasher, could you drink out of it again? No. That's sullied. But you could eat out of a bowl you threw up in. Because that's nuts. I've never done that. Because that's insane. I've never done... I usually just throw up on the floor. That's my move. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big See, that's there, rude. Yeah, I'm not... I'm, yeah, I'm never... I've never been a big get it together when it needs to happen. Horrible kind of timing. Yeah. yeah. Worst timing possible. Isn't that horrible? Just I remember one time I was in an Uber. I literally like had him pull over on the freeway to yak. First time I ever drank, I threw up in my room. From from me and, me and Brody were mixing uh, peppermint Smirnoff and Mountain Dew in shot glasses. That's and then a bad doing decision. Cart, doing cartwheels in the living room and spinning and watching the room like spin. <laughs> Which looking back, it was decision. just a recipe too. It was like we we're trying to throw up the yeah. fastest. And then you I guys are doing like that Sprite banana yeah. challenge essentially. Yeah. And I, th- I threw up red stuff all over my bedroom floor. And then like this, we like didn't know what to do. So I like went to go wake my mom up, fucked up. And I, um, mom, I threw up. And it had to have smelled like alcohol. And like she came oh, yeah. in and. Just cleaned it up, and I like rolled over the other way. She oh, was bro! Numb. Someone ye- and someone yacked at the fucking don't tell last night. That's oh, I'm glad I got out of in there. In the room? In the room, bro. It's the first time we've ever had that happen. But someone oh, yacked at no. the. Uh, they yacked. Who the was room. on stage? Dude, uh, no, I it was at the end of the show. It was when we were cleaning up. Ugh. You saw that that dude with like the little moped scooter thing, mm-hmm. bro. It was that guy. It was the big boy, bro. Dude, just yacked all <laughs> over the Mobility scooter if you barf is bad, dude. <laughs> uh, that ghost me out. I can't do other people barfing. I dude, a guy it. had a stroke at the stand last night. Someone was murdering? No. <laughs> Someone just fucking yeah. said that. Someone no, out. was it just another rant happening, Tristan? <laughs> what rant? Rant. Oh, no. <laughs> no, he, uh, no it, was, it was before the it was before the show on uh, the Netflix is a joke one. And uh, he fucking, he was just like, he was like in a party with his friends and stuff like that. And he was just like, hey man, um, my buddy was drinking. He like went up to a waiter. He's like, my buddy's drinking, but he wasn't drinking too much. But he just passed out in his chair. I don't want to make a big deal about it. And then they are like had to call the ambulance and like made a big deal about it. And like we're sitting there, I'm like, wow, that guy was fucking hammered. That's so irresponsible. And he was like, no, he had like a full blown stroke. And you'd be like, holy Ooh, shit. Fuck. They're like, yeah. And then there only one of his friends could come with him to the hospital. So like his three other buddies were just sitting there and they're like, do you, do you, you want to watch the show? <laughs> and they're like, what the uh, fuck? I think we're just gonna get some food upstairs and just uh, hang out. It's kind of like imagine just going to be like, man, this is gonna be such a good night Friday night. Brent, you okay? He uh, his half his brain just died. All right, well let's <laughs> yeah. go see let's go see Derek Gaines. Especially, if he, was, especially if he was giving off signs too the whole night. He's like, does anyone else's like specifically right arm hurt? Like just just yeah. the right one. Left one feels fine. Just the right. That's I'm getting kind a of in strong my... right breeze coming through here. Right breeze. <laughs> yeah. Anyone. Smell like coins to anyone else? No. Bro, this kitchen is cooking tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just uh, like, pull up the uh Jonathan, what's wrong? It's just like nothing. It's like, well, your hand's in the fryer and it doesn't <laughs> seem to phase you, so Can't and... feel a thing. Didn't feel it. Yeah. Uh, well, th- this whole thing? <laughs> yeah. Pull up the uh, the old Patreon names to uh see if anyone changed it. Yeah, by the way, we got, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, got some Patreon changes. Yeah. When you uh, when you join the Patreon, we always encourage you to name yourself something funny, and then also uh, change it. You know, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever you want to do. There's, on, to there's only one new one, and but, it's very funny. But we we because go through and read the name. We found out recently that this man is still alive. Oh geez, I'll take this one. Uh, yeah. Carl, I am going to uh, rape lupus in the mouth, Goldthorpe. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, we hope you beat the fuck out of that lupus, Carl. Dude, uh, it's, a, it's a lifetime disease I yeah. found out. He has it for the rest of his yeah, life. Yeah, I was going to say, Damn. I, saw him in, yeah, yeah. I, I saw him in person, and lupus is winning. But we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lupus is beating that ass. But uh, I haven't shout- seen him since I left, and I, I, I feel like I'm going to go to Devil's one night while I'm down there and just being like, God damn, dude. Bro, you he's starting to look, look he's terrible. He started to look like Voldemort. It's yeah. getting bad. He looks like someone OD'd at Woodshed. Now he just haunts that place. Like he just, <laughs> yeah. he just comes back being like, this is the spot. Anyway, shout yeah. out to Carl. Fuck Lupus. Join the, join the Patreon. Tell a friend about the cast. Or Come shout out to Gus. Lupus. Fuck Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if Lupus wants to join the Patreon, I'll say fuck Carl. Uh, tell yeah, a friend if about Lupus the cast. is $10 member, I think pay, uh, he's only $1 member. So. Mm. Lupus bought the first ever drip, t- uh, drip Chicken t-shirt. We'll see you guys later. Tell a friend about the cast.